my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you calm down! <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Okay, so some big news came out today. How about that? So we got more dominoes falling on the silly season situation. And I will actually talk, I'll probably make a video at some point talking about silly season. So, Motorsport.com has reported that Chase Briscoe is moving to the 14, replacing Clint Boyer, who will be retiring and moving to the Fox Sports booth. Hey, as a matter of fact, that was actually one of my early 2020 predictions, even before the pandemic struck, so I guess that's a plus one for me. Okay, so that's pretty much out of the way. I think that's been something that a lot of people have anticipated. I know a lot of people were kind of hoping Kyle Larson would go to the 14. I was too. I'm not going to say who told me, but from what I heard, Tony Stewart was supposedly going to sign him, but Ford had blocked it, apparently. Ford did not uh, support the idea of Kyle Larson driving for them, which kind of stuns me a little bit. Like, okay, and we'll move into Kyle Larson in a second, as Bob Pockers also just tweeted out that Kyle Larson, or I guess now we'll go into it, Kyle Larson has been reinstated by NASCAR, effective New Year's Day 2021. So January 1st, he will be reinstated by NASCAR. That is official. So for sure, we might be seeing him back in a cup car next season. As right now, we've been seeing him tearing it up in the dirt circuit. As a matter of fact, I got to see him win a dirt race at Lawrenceburg Speedway earlier this year. So time for everyone to say it. Well, obviously, Larson's going to Hendrick. Okay, honestly, that's what it's looking like here. I think right now it's pretty much all but confirmed that Kyle Larson is going to Hendrick. I don't know if I've said it in a previous video, but I'll say it here. Yes, Kyle Larson made an awful mistake. He realized he made a terrible mistake. He did something that a 10-year-old would make playing Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. Simple as that. Uh, I'm very thankful that Larson owned up to his mistakes and that, you know, he's fixing his image, and I think that's an important thing. I definitely welcome him back. And I'd like to see him back on the track. I think he's one of the greatest drivers out there. Um, I feel like you could put him in anything and he'll do well. In. For sure, we'll see Kyle Larson back. I guess he's going to Hendrick at this point. We don't really know because I know everyone's like waiting. Everyone has said Larson to Hendrick, Larson to Hendrick. And at first I was like, no, I think Larson's going to Stuart Haas. But until I heard someone, I heard some sources say that Ford blocked that vote. That kind of changes things a little bit. So I see Larson going to Hendrick Motorsports. The only issue there is Rick Hendrick probably won't allow him to run the amount of dirt races that Chip Ganassi allowed him to run, unless maybe Hendrick lights up about it. I don't know. Maybe Larson could also see this as taking a little break from all the dirt racing he's done. He's pretty much won everything now at this point. So maybe now he can t take his focuses and pour it more into NASCAR. Because before everything had happened, in my predictions, I had him being a championship four driver. And everything happened. So, yeah, just a quick video of my thoughts on it. Uh, so, I think Kyle Larson's going to go to Hendrick. He's going to go in the 88. We know Alex Bowman's going to take Jimmy Johnson's spot in the 48. So, Bowman has sponsorship covered with Ally. So, when it comes to Larson, sponsorship is definitely going to be an issue. Especially after mistake the you know, the mistake he made. And also the other question is, is he in the 88? Is the number going to change? Is he going to be in the 5, the 25, the 57, the 51? Oh, wait, Rick Ware has that. Darn. I was hoping for a little Days of Thunder throwback. Wait, is anybody driving 46? Anyway, the point is, Kyle Larson deserves a second chance. He made a mistake. He's owned up to it. And as a fan of the human spirit, I believe in second chances. So, I hope to see Kyle Larson back out there. I do believe he will go to Hendrick, and I think he will do a great job. I think Hendrick's going to have a really solid lineup next season. Chase Elliott's their lead man. You got Alex Bowman, who's been getting a lot better. He's going to be in the 48 and a fully funded ride next season. William Byron's starting to get up there. I said he needed a win that could get himself rolling. And then you got the addition of Kyle Larson. And overall, Hendrick might have a really good team um, on their hands. Now, of course, there's always a possibility that Kyle Larson may go somewhere else. You never know. It won't be the 43 because in additional news, it looks like everything has been pointing to Eric Jones driving for Richard Petty next season. So it's going to be interesting with that team. You know, that team has 
you know, Bubba Wallace has pushed that car, and I think Eric Jones will push that car too. Uh, it'll definitely be a threat on the super speedways like Daytona and Talladega. Sponsorship's going to be interesting. Who knows how that's going to play out because a lot of those sponsors that join Bubba are going to go over to that new Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan team. So, yeah, a lot of dominoes are, are taking place. So, yeah, there are my thoughts on that. Um, I'm expecting Larson to go to HMS, but I guess you never know. It's 2020, right? It's 2020. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, Sunday Night Lights Cup is coming. I am working on the races as this video is being recorded. I just thought I'd drop this quick video for you guys real quick. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sonic Rose 831 and I will see you in the next video.